Welcome to the Comic Book Lounge. Today's video is going to be on my updated bookshelf tour. So I'll start with the right bookshelf. So this is the George R. R. Martin section of my bookshelf. So starting from the left is The Lands of Ice and Fire, which is a map book. Then there's The World of Ice and Fire, which is essentially a history book. Then the five book box set of the Song of Ice and Fire series. So a Game of Thrones. Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons. Then there's the 20th Anniversary Edition slash Illustrated Edition hardcovers of the first two books in the series, A Game of Thrones and A Clash of Kings. The Anniversary Edition of the third book, A Storm of Swords, is coming out in a few weeks, so I'll make a video separately on that. Then there's uh, Night of the Seven Kingdoms and Fire and Blood, which are two prequel books that also act as companion books to the series. Have a nice little bookmark here, keep calm and read on. Then down here is my Wheel of Time shelf, or Wheel of Time section of my bookshelf by Robert Jordan. So you start here, The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, the Shadow Rising, The Fires of Heaven, Lord of Chaos, A Crown of Swords, a path of, The Path of Daggers, Winter's Heart, Crossroads of Twilight, Knife of Dreams, The Gathering Storm, Towers of Midnight, and A Memory of Light. And as you can see here, New Spring is numbered zero. So it's a prequel book. But it's recommended to read it after the series. So I have that at the end here. And then also the Wheel of Time companion. Then down here, I have a random wolf bookmark. But I like to kind of associate my bookmarks with whatever series I'm reading. So you can think of this as kind of like the Wolf Brother stuff with Perrin and Elias, two characters in this series. Down here is an empty shelf. I'm probably going to fill that with Malazan or the Expanse series once I get those. I'm going to move on to this shelf. So this is the sci-fi section of this shelf. So you have this beautiful Dune Deluxe Edition hardcover here. And I also have the Dune trade paperback along with the rest of the series. So Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune, Heretics of Dune, and Chapter House Dune. Then there's Dan Simmons' Hyperion series, which is a four book series. But these huge omnibuses collect two books each. So the Hyperion omnibus collects books one and two, which is Hyperion and the Fall of Hyperion. Then the Endymion Omnibus collects the, the other two books, which is Endymion and the Rise of Endymion. And then a nice random Pluto <laughs> bookmark here. And I have this here because it kind of matches with the spine of the Dune trade paperbacks. So that's why I have that here. And then next, this is probably my most kind of unorganized and randomly assembled section of this bookshelf because this huge Call of Cthulhu Illustrated Edition right here is so huge I couldn't fit it anywhere else in my bookshelf. So you can see these little marks here. I had to really lower this down just to make this one book fit. So I put my entire HP Lovecraft collection here. So everything after this, these are just placeholders until I can find a another series that can properly fit here. So yeah, I'll start from here. So again, The Call of Cthulhu, the beautiful illustrated edition. Then The Complete Fiction of H.P. Lovecraft. Then we move on to H.P. Lovecraft's The Complete Cthulhu Mythos Tales. Then The Cthulhu Mythos Encyclopedia. That just has like all the terms and definitions that were used in all his all of his Cthulhu sh related short stories. Then there's Sebastian de Castell's The Great Coats Quartet, which is Trader's Blade, Night Shadow, Saint's Blood, and Tyrant's Throne. 
Then I have a few Star Wars Legends slash EU books. Star Wars Darth Plagueis, then the Darth Bane Trilogy, which is Path of Destruction, Rule of Two, and Dynasty of Evil. Then I have two mythology books, standalone mythology books, so Neil Gaiman's Norse Mythology and then Greek Mythology Explained. Move down here. This is the Brandon Sanderson section of his bookshelf. So to the left, I have two of his leatherbound books, which are exclusively sold on his website. All, all of his books right now are actually sold out. So I'm waiting for, the, for them to restock so I can buy the books two and three of his Mistborn trilogy in leatherbound. Then I have the Mistborn trilogy in paperback, The Final Empire, which is slash Mistborn. These two are the same. It's just named Mistborn here instead of Final Empire. So Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, The Hero of Ages, then uh, Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive series, The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance. I still have to buy Oathbringer and Rhythm, Rhythm of War when that comes out. Then there's a novella from the Stormlight Archive, which is called Edge Dancer, which I just have propped out here since I'm filling in Oathbringer and Rhythm of War inside there. Then down here is the Witcher slash the Lord of the Rings shelf. So you can see here the Last Wish, Sword of Destiny, Blood of Elves, the Time of Contempt, Baptism of Fire, the Tower of the Swallows, and the Lady of the Lake. And on top you have Season of Storms, which is kind of like a side quest, standalone kind of adventure with Geralt which is recently released, so that's why I just have that up there since this from Last Wish to Lady of Lake is the main series. Then, since I couldn't fit The Hobbit in here, I just have that up here. just wanted to show you this really dope cover. So after The Hobbit is the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is the Fellowship of the Ring, the Two Towers, and the return of the king then there's some tales of the middle earth books here which is the children of huron baron and luthien and the fall of gondolin and lastly and with the cimmerillion so that's it for my updated bookshelf tour video thanks for watching